Hi, this is Team Code Travels and today we are in Budapest. Budapest is the capital of Hungary, which is often known as the Paris of the East due to its large amount of architecture dating from the late 19th century. Question one. What is the name of the river that divides Buda and Pest? The Danube. Is the right answer. Well done. Straddling the vast Danube River, the city consists of two main areas, Buda and Pest. Pest is the more modern part of the city, lying on flatland to the east, while Buda contains the older parts, including Buda Castle, built on the higher ground to the west. The world-renowned Hungarian parliament is on the riverside in Pest, but to get the best views of it, you must head to Fisherman's Bastion at the edge of the castle in Buda. When the parliament was built, the Hungarians loved it so much that they built a viewing platform on the hill almost as ornate as the parliament itself. When both were built, Austria-Hungary was one of the most powerful and richest nations in the world. All that would change after World War I, but when the parliament was completed, it was a symbol of the nation's golden age and remained as the country's most beautiful building. Question 2. In what year was the Hungarian parliament building finished? Oh, we went yesterday. We did, but what uh... year was it finished? I think it's either 1901 or 1902. It is one of those, but which are you going to go for? I'm going to go with 1901. Oh, it's ah, 1902! Damn, it. damn. Built in the neo-Gothic style, the building is accessible to tourists all year round. But you have to book onto a guided tour, so we suggest booking online to ensure you get a place with a guide who speaks your language. You don't want to go on a tour in Japanese, do you? Unless you're Japanese. Obviously. The building itself is symmetrical. One half of the building is open to the visitors, while the other functions as the nation's actual parliament. The largest building in Hungary, it has 691 rooms, 10 courtyards and 29 staircases. It was built to celebrate the 1000th anniversary of the Hungarian nation, so the interior is adorned with countless coats of arms and statues that celebrate Hungarian rulers, Transylvanian leaders and famous military figures. Including the fabulous Maria Theresa and the Empress Sissi even if she was officially Austrian. Question number three. What is the currency in Hungary? Forint. Hungarian forint. Oof. <laughs> Oof! Yeah, that's how it's written. H-U-F. Oof! Budapest is also known for its numerous thermal baths. Sitting on a fault line, the baths are fed by 120 hot springs beneath the ground. The most famous of these is the Szezenyi Baths. Built in 1930, the vast complex has 15 indoor pools, three outdoor saunas, steam rooms and countless bath facilities. It's busy, but it's not too busy. Jeremy has managed to sprain his ankle, um, but we are in the baths nonetheless. How does your foot feel, my darling? Wonderful. It's a nice change from today. It's been hobbling around, um, but the nice, soothing thermal waters Indeed. are doing their magic. There's a whirlpool in the corner, which is fab, which I've just been in, and it just whizzes you around. Uh, there's fountains, there's a uh, thermal pool, actual warm ones, but this is a cool one outside. Um, we were a little bit worried that when we got here that it was 32 degrees and we were going to be absolutely boiling because it's a thermal bath. But actually, no, the outdoor pools are not heated, whereas the indoor ones are a bit like a Turkish bath, um, but it's fab. It costs about £17, so we suggest making a day of it, but there are plenty of others in the city that are less full of tourists and come just as recommended by the locals. I can think of worse places to be on a Thursday. Question four. What can you tell me about the Hungarian government? Oh, the Prime Minister is called Viktor Orban. Is the right answer. And he's kind of like a far-right leader. Mm -hmm. He refuses it. The... Uh, the stigma that comes with it, but it kind of gets. No, 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 no. Prime Minister did not approve. No. 
The city is absolutely rammed with sites to go and visit. Obviously there's the cathedral, St. Stephen's Basilica. There's the Jewish synagogue. The Buddha castle, up on the hill. The Chichenin chain bridge. The citadel, which has some of the best views in the city. The walk up the hill in this heat is really hard. Honestly, I think we both nearly had heart attacks. Uh, but the view is absolutely worth it. Vashdaunyad Castle. Heroes Square. The Shu Memorial on the riverbank, which remembers a spot on the Danube where victims of the Holocaust were taken during the World War II. The general architecture of many of the streets in Pest are attractions in themselves. Babes, the um, American Embassy says that you are not allowed to take any photographs of it. Do there. Watch me. Some people just want to watch the world burn. That's right. And then there's a the great market hall. Overheard in the market. Oh my god, I so need to buy some paprika for my sister. She's going to love it. When in hungry. Question five. What is goulash made of? <laughs> uh, beef. Yep. And vegetables. Uh huh. And a sauce. Yeah, to go with it. But what's the key ingredient of the sauce? Paprika. Is the right answer. <laughs> we all love paprika. We all love paprika. We should bring some to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how I'm feeling right now? No, how do you feel? Hungry. Hungry and hungry. I'm feeling hungry in Hungary. Mmm, Hungarian Langos Burgers! Budapest has become a party city in recent years, attracting revelers from all over the world to experience its exciting nightlife. Ruin bars have become the best night spots in the city, which are converted, dilapidated buildings that have been renovated only to the point of being functional and retain their derelict appearance. Bohemian, hip and incredibly hipster, this is where to go if you're wanting a night out. Or to experience something uniquely Budapest. Speaking of amazing things to do at night... I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Budapest by night is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. All of the city's biggest attractions are lit up beautifully at night, illuminating them so they can be seen from all over the city. Exploring Fisherman's Bastion after dark feels like a wholly different experience than during the day. And the view to the parliament is possibly even more beautiful during the night. The very best view in the city is from the river itself. Walk along the riverbank in Pesh and you'll find scores of competitive cruise companies vying for your custom, so it's worth shopping around a bit until they get the best price. Then, take to the water and see the amazing sights lit up boldly against the night sky. We loved the crew so much that we did it a second time the next day. Just because we wanted to see it in daylight too. Budapest is a sprawling metropolis filled with outstanding architecture and some genuinely brilliant attractions. So whether you want to sightsee, party or to explore a new city, Budapest is an absolute must.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and to follow us on Instagram at Throw My Quirky Eyes. And be sure to tune in next time when we will be in Croatia and Slovenia. A double bill. Until next time, folks. See ya.